This is a Craftsman uh, garden tractor, and this particular tractor comes with a twin cylinder Kohler Pro 25 horsepower engine. It's a carbureted engine. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to check the fuel system minus the carburetor. Um, a couple of systems, uh, symptoms of a bad fuel system is uh, hard starting or the tractor just doesn't start at all. Um, I've got the hood off this, this tractor, so that's why it, it looks funny. Um, I took the hood off because it's easier to get to the front of the engine, um, get that out of the way. Uh, on the front of the engine here, we've got a uh, vacuum-operated fuel pump. Um, it's operated by uh, pressures created by the engine's crankcase. On a positive pressure, it pushes fuel out, and on a negative pressure, it pulls fuel in. This is your inlet line. This, this line goes to your fuel tank and then to the pump, and this is your uh, pulse line. This line connects from the crankcase to the pump, and you got an outlet line which, which connects from the pump to the carburetor. Um, there's also a couple of check valves in this pump to make sure that the fuel only goes in one direction from the tank to the carburetor. Uh, the first thing to do when you're checking one of these is you want to make sure that you're able to get fuel from the, from the gas tank to the pump. So the first thing we're going to do is remove this fuel line and, and check for fuel flow. First thing we want to do is we want to make sure that uh, the, the fuel pump is able to pull fuel th through the inlet line. And the way we do that is the uh, first thing we want to do is we want to pull this inlet line off. Uh, you do that if you've got a hose clamp like this, take a pair of pliers and compress it and pull it back. Then uh, to make this easier to pull off, some of these lines are sometimes hard to get off because you know they've been on there for years. Uh, if, you can, if you can somehow grab the line uh, gently and, and twist it, so it breaks free of where it connects to the pump and then pull it off. Then we want to take the inlet line and position it below the fuel tank so gravity can pull fuel through the line. We can see it flow and we can here. So we know fuel is able to flow through the inlet line and then reconnect it. Take your pliers again and compress the hose clamp and put it into position. Okay, if we were not able to get fuel to flow out of the, through this inlet line, uh, there's a few things you can check. Uh, one is the fuel filter. Um, it could be clogged. Uh, the way you could check that is disconnect the line before the, before the uh, fuel filter and see if you can get uh, fuel flow. Um, another thing to check is if there's a shutoff valve on the on the gas tank, um, it could be in the off position. And another thing you can check is there's a vent in these gas caps, and there's a, the vent can't be plugged. If it's plugged, fuel won't flow. <coughs> uh, you can take the gas gas cap off and then recheck the inlet line and see if you can get fuel to flow. If you can, then 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 you probably need to replace the gas cap. Now that we know we can get fuel from the fuel tank uh, through the inlet line to the pump, we want to check to make sure that the pump is actually pumping fuel and uh, pushing it out of the outlet line. And to do that, we've got to disconnect this outlet line from the carburetor. So uh, next thing we need to do is remove this air filter and cover. Okay, to remove this filter, uh, you unscrew this part. that off unscrew this wing nut pull the filter off okay now we need to remove the underside of this uh, air filter housing uh, there's two two bolts at the bottom they're uh, they're eight millimeter is it eight yeah eight millimeter Then we got uh, two two nuts up here that connect to the carburetor. Take 
take that off. And we can remove this. Move that out of the way. And this is the fuel line we need to remove. That's the outlet uh, outlet fuel line from the fuel pump that connects right here to the carburetor. Take off the fuel line where it connects to the carburetor the same way we took off the inlet line that connected to the fuel pump. Uh, compress the hose clamp, slide it back. Try and loosen it up, make it easier to pull off. That's a bit of pressure. It's going to get a little bit of fuel coming out. And then uh, pull the line through so we can get to the end of it. Now that you got the uh, outlet line from the fuel pump to the carburetor off, uh, get a container that can catch the fuel and then turn over the engine and see if the pump is actually pumping fuel out. Let's see if I can do this. And you can see that we got fuel flow flowing from the fuel pump. If you didn't get any fuel flow uh, from the outlet line when you turn the engine over, uh, you'd want to take this outlet line off and, and check it for any obstructions uh, in the line. Make sure that the, it, it's free, it's clear. Um, also, uh, on all these lines we've been checking, uh, you, you want to check for any cracks or make sure, and also make sure the lines are flexible. Um, over time, these fuel lines will get hard and they'll start to crack. Um, if you find that, then, then replace the lines. Um, if after checking this outlet line and it's, it's, it's good, it's, it's, there's no obstructions, then you want to check the uh, pulse line on the, um, the fuel pump. Uh, check it where it connects to the crankcase. Make sure that it's connected. Make sure there's no obstructions with the pulse line. Make sure there's no cracks. Um, and if everything checks out and you're still not getting fuel flow, then, then replace the vacuum pump, uh, vacuum fuel pump. Uh, this is the recommended method for checking the fuel pump according to the Kohler manual. Uh, Kohler does say that the pump should, should, be, uh, should have a, a minimum flow of two gallons of gas per hour, but they don't say how to check that flow. Um, they basically just say uh, make sure that there's, there's fuel being pushed out of the pump when the, when the engine's turning over. And uh, if, you find, if you find that that's the case, then the pump is good. Uh, Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.